Hello world, Chatty Dad 1. This is Blackjack Part 2. June 22nd, 8.03 a.m. New York City. 8.03.27 a.m. New York City. The Blast. June 22nd, 8.03.27 a.m. Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. 8.03.38 a.m. EDT. June 22nd, 8.03 a.m. Toronto. 8.03.27 Toronto. Receives its blast. 803.30 Toronto 803.47 Mexico City 803.47 AM Portland 803.29 AM Los Angeles 803.27 AM Los Angeles, 803.29 a.m. Explosions. Nucleares. Dance Six Villes. Nord Americanis. New York City, one week later. Washington, D.C., one week later. Previously in Blackjack, a coalition of homegrown extremists, Islamists, and Christian doomsday cultists may have acquired the means to carry out a mass casualty attack. In white vans, the London got attacked. New York City, Washington, D.C., Toronto, New Mexico City, Los Angeles, and Portland was attacked. Now, with millions dead and the world in chaos. Let's see the glass eye report. This has exceeded our wildest expectations. It's time for phase two. Say the men behind the closed doors in dark smoke-filled rooms in the secret societies. Out of the ruins, a new country appears. Citizens of the UNA, your government is moving quickly to restore order and to punish the masterminds behind the June 22nd attacks. My fellow citizens, the June 22nd attacks were the greatest crime in the history of the world millions dead. The capitals and other cities of five great countries were reduced to radioactive rubble. From the ashes of these great nations a new power arises, the Union of North America. From here in our new capital in Denver, I have authorized the armed forces of the UNA to begin immediate operations against the nations who planned and executed these acts of infamy by air, land, and sea. But I have also authorized the use of other measures specifically against Iran, Syria, and China. In our homeland, we are moving against the many thousands of people who collaborated in these evil plots. They will be held in special containment facilities across the UNA. Many hundreds have already been apprehended and are currently in transit to these facilities. In the meantime, I ask you to abide by the state of emergency that exists across our nation in Denver, Manchester, Tijuana, Dublin, Montreal. 
as we secure our homeland and punish those responsible. Our debts have been forgiven and our country has reopened for business. The new money printed by the UNA. God bless you and God bless the Union of North America. Blackjack. These events and characters depicted in this slide view show are entirely fictional. And they are a lot like the Jericho Rip, uh, TV show, too. I bet that's where they got this idea from. Department of Homeland Security Emergency Transmission. Stay at home and wait. Further instructions. Blackjack Part 4 Previously, a plot to destroy the major cities of the West succeeds. London, New York Washington, D.C. Toronto, New Mexico City, Los Angeles and Portland are incinerated newscasts go out for people to stay at home and wait further instructions from the Department of Homeland Security emergency transmission. With the world in chaos, a new Western government appears. Based in Denver, Colorado, it prints a new currency and flies a new flag. The government of the UNA quickly identifies China, Iran, and Syria as the culprits. The subsequent war is quick and decisive. Unelected, a new president issues a new constitution and declares martial law. One year earlier, while politicians have based busied themselves with ensuring their own political survival. Our patriotic efforts have made the difference between defeat and survival of the Western way of life. For six decades, our unsung efforts have repeatedly saved our nations from disaster. Through decisive intervention, we have been the glue that has held the Western world together and the veneer of democracy and economic success have been maintained. But our power has begun to wane throughout the 90s and early this century. Our need for oil and strategic dominance led us into fighting wars at home and abroad. And all the while, as we exhausted ourselves, the oil supply dwindled and the global population exploded. In the last few years, we've been rushing towards catastrophe. Decadence has become endemic and our personal and national debt have exploded. And all the while, as our enemies have grown stronger, our political leaders have dithered and prevert, uh, prevaricated. Sorry. <laughs> now a new regime threatens to undermine the way of our life further. The decline we face today is greater than that of a half century ago. We face economic and social disaster at home and defeat abroad. The time has come for action. First drawn up years ago, we look to blackjack for a solution. Teardrop, Operation Blackjack, Top Secret Eyes Only, The Ringmaster, Portland Cell, LA Cell, New York City Cell, 
Toronto cell, Washington DC cell, Mexico City cell, and all the other adjacent cells tied in with this attack from the world's powerful and elite wanting to bring in this new regime, new country. The ordinance for blackjack has been secured. Nukes go missing in mix-up. We've already seen how that's happened last year. And we have sufficient assets in both Conus and GBR for phase two. We anticipate a future phase may be needed to deal with insurgencies along the east and west coasts. The criminals in the executive will be arrested and transferred to a wait trial once the operation is complete. In the series finale, the Union of North America, Department of Homeland Security, and Oversight won all purchases, businesses, and financial transactions across the UNA must now be supported by a presentation of your UNA biometric identification card. UNA Oversight has the authority to close businesses that fail to demand sight of the card from all clients and customers. Citizens who fail to carry their card and present it upon demand could face unlimited jail terms. in the finale of Blackjack. Coming soon. Blackjack Part 5. Coming next. <laughs>